Hey, this is John and Andrea, Happy Wife Acres. We're here with Brenda. Hi. Hi. Hello. And after a year off, it's back. The Ohio National. Oh, thank goodness. Nobody likes virtual <laughs> chickens. You want to be able to see chickens up close. Guess what's inside? Lots of chickens. chickens. Oh. And other poultry. Ducks and geese and turkeys and guineas. God help them. They put guineas in cages. God, that's just bad. Over 6,000 <laughs> entries, and we're going to go see them. Let's go. Yay. Woohoo. Newt. Hi Newt. Hi. And what, what do you do? Uh, well, I've been here at the Baja National for about 15 years now and I help set up the show and help uh, everyone keep the show running. That's awesome. What can you tell us in just a sentence or two about the show? Well, this is a 6,000 bird show and that's one of the largest in the country and it's the best place to be if you want to show chicken. Yes it is. It's noisy. It is noisy here. <laughs> We love it. We are so happy you're back after a year off. Well, we didn't want to be off for a year. I'll show you that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go look around. All right, good luck. It's good meeting you. Nice to meet you. Hey, there's a chicken on your head. When isn't there a chicken on my yeah. head, <laughs> or my shoulder, or my back? It, it, I bring, mean, really. it brings out your eyes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and there are chickens below, too. That aren't put in the camera. Yep. So stand up next to that so we can get a perspective. She is so adorable. Here, now you can see because my hand is over there. Hand. Now you can see how big my hand is. <laughs> she is so adorable. And some bard rock. Where's your eyes? Are they in there somewhere? There they are. You're a handsome boy. I'm here with Skye, and she brought some chickens to the show. Okay. So, where are you from, Skye? So I'm from Waukesha, Wisconsin. That's a long ways. Yeah, it was about eight, 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 eight and a half hours. Wow. Yeah. How long have you been preparing for this? This is my first year at the Nationals. Okay. So I've been preparing for probably a year-ish. Um, I've been showing since August, September, just in preparation for this, where everybody's been Conditioning, grooming. So you do your own. You do your own breeding. I do. Okay. So show yep. us what you got. So um, it's Urban Sky Silkies and Satins. Okay. And uh, so we'll bring out one of the white girls here. Oh, hi, I do baby. breed silkies. And satins. Yes, and <laughs> satins. So a satin is basically a silky with regular feather type. So this is one of my girls here today. Goodness, do you know where you're at? Can She's you see? Like, I'm not sure. There's a lot more birds than normal. Yeah. But um, silkies. I mean, how can you not love the no. flute? Oh, sweetie. So you're waiting to be judged. So we are waiting to be judged. Good luck to you. Thank you so much, and I'm so excited to meet Woo. you in person. <laughs> Thanks for the time. Thank you. <laughs>
butterfly shaped group of feathers at the beginning of this called the crest. And so <laughs> you don't want to have any white feathers in there. So like that could be considered a white feather. So it's you can't color the feathers. Yeah. You can take them out. Oh. But like these ones here, the tail feathers, you can't pull those. No. Because there'd be a big hole there. Yeah. And same with the wings. But it but the um if there's like a body feather that's white, then I could pull that. Sometimes they'll like injure it when they're a chick or Yeah. And, I know. He said I don't understand. <laughs> they're very good. Your eye brow, I know. They're very good natured about it. And if you just do one at a time, they don't seem to mind. No ripping out like clumps of them. <laughs> and then they love the smell of this. Here, smell it. It's got eucalyptus. Ooh, I have some of this at home. Just to make their legs look like really sparkly. Here you go. And then I put it on their waddles. So VetRx is kind of like like, Vix. Yeah, but they like to smell it. Yeah. Uh -huh. So any feathers that are facing forward like that, that goes. So you're you're from folkloric mantons, and where are you located? Boston. Boston. Well, south of Boston. Wow. In a uh, little town. Not. Oh, you get your little feet. Yeah. Oh, you got another one? And then he knows it's showtime. And what is his breed? He is a white crested blue Polish bantam. Okay. So you'll see that there are other ones like this, but a bigger size. Yeah. They're about one third of the size of the large fowl. And the blue for his feathers there it's on the, the gray part. It's gray. Yeah. It's gray, but they call it's, it blue. And so what you're <laughs> looking for is this lacing. Oh. It is. It's like a nut hatch. It's a, kind of a, a bluish gray. So that's what you look for in the, um, this particular green is the um, lacing. Little call ducks. Little boy. Ooh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Beautiful. I've never seen that coloration before. It's a, that's a pullet, a little young girl. Kind of a smoky gray, some brown. This guy is huge. This is a white rock cockerel. He gets a double cage. Come here. There we go. Hey, put your hand over there. My hand right here. So yeah. you can see. Wow, he's a beautiful boy. Look at that tail. This one almost as big. Another boy. Hi, sweetheart. How you doing, baby? What a beautiful boy. I'm here with Erica Elliott. Okay, and you have a farm? Yes, I do. What's the name? River Run Farm. River Run Farm. All right. How many chickens did you bring? I brought uh, four chickens and 15 call ducks. Oh my goodness, we love call ducks. These black Indies, actually. Oh wow. And you got one boy over here. Yep. Nice. He's a Orpington. That's a He's big boy. He's at the Mills line. Oh. So you guys are about 200 miles north. Yes. And how many times have you been to this show? This is about my sixth time. Oh, wonderful. Yes. Well, good luck. Thank you. The crazy guineas. Little Kyoga boy. Got that flip tail. Right, 
beautiful. Look at all this green. Oh, baby. You making a mess? Uh-huh. Making a mess. Because I'm a duck. I want, to, I want to get out of here. Oh, uh, that big, big beacon duck. Hi, big beacon duck. This is a runner. They stand very upright. Meet you, Tom. So you breed these. I breed these and a couple other colors. So tell us something about them. Well, self blue in the standard modern doesn't exist, and I love the color. So being stubborn like I am, I wanted to create this color. So about, ooh, I'd say about 15 years ago now, I got some. Phantom Modern self blue from California, which I bred to a BB Red, which isn't a good start, but it was a start. And um, I've been working on them ever since. Um, they're getting pretty good, but I'm still learning. It's a difficult color to get to pure. This guy's pretty pure. As far as coloring, he's got a little brassiness, but I like it. So even though they're not one of the standard breeds, right. they are a standard breed, but not a standard color. Color, but you can still bring them here to be judged. Uh, this show does have a class for non-standard or standard breed non-certified or whatever. Okay. You want to call it. And where are you from? I'm from Connecticut. This boy is mine. And he got best variety and best of breed. And he he really does deserve it, even, even in competition. Mm, beautiful. He is. He's he's very very good type. And this is his father. Okay. And as you can see, it's a Progression to a to a real uh, good modern game. Thank you, Tom. You're welcome. Enjoy meeting you. I'm here with Mark. Hi, Mark. Nice to meet you. And where are you from? Uh, I live in Attica, New York. Attica, New York. And these are some of your birds right here. Yes, they are. Those are golden penciled hamburgers, large fowl. Oh, they are beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, not so many of those around. They're very rare. They also have the bantam variety of those too. So you breed these yourself? Yes, I've been breeding them for probably 40 years now. How long does it take you to get ready for the show? Well, I've got two years into these birds, creating these birds back to the original colors. Um, so, now this particular variety has always been slightly smaller. And it's hard to get that size back up there, so you cross it on to another uh, variety of Hamburg that is uh, got a larger size, and, and that would be black because they're the easiest to work with. And then. Uh, your second year, you have your recessive gene back, which gets your color, and then they'll breed two again. So this is a year's worth of work here. Yeah, this is actually two years worth of work right here. 
<laughs> that was awesome. Yep. Okay, so did they, they've already been judged? Yes, they've been judged. This one, this one's a pellet. She's a young bird, and, and that's reserve variety. Okay. And then this one was an older male, so he would be a cock. Uh, he got the best of variety. So the judge liked that one better than that one. Okay, well, wonderful. Looks like you're going home with something. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much for talking with us. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Here's your party. Feathers. How many, how many geese do you have? Um, I currently will have 11 for breeding season. I like to keep my numbers small and go for quality rather than quantity. What's your one couple? Do you see how blue his eyes are? Now. <laughs> I can't tell what you are. You ate your tag. There's a fluffy butt. White Chinese. Yeah, they have a brown Chinese too. Toulouse? Toulouse. This is a boy. He's a big boy. You're so cute. That was fun. Did you have fun, Andrea? I always have fun. There was so much to see. I think Brenda had a lot of fun. Yeah. That's you, Brenda. This was pom -pom, your pom-pom. My rooster pom-pom. <laughs> your first time, and it looks like you uh, you might have yeah. grabbed the tail of some chickens. Yeah, I got a rooster, and, and then most of these are geese, actually. They all fell off. She didn't rip them off yeah, anybody. Yeah, no, they're all loose well, somewhere. They were on the ground. <laughs> Most fascinating thing you saw. The uh, Sebastopol geese. Sebastopol geese, which is where all these white feathers are from. Yeah. They look like a wedding dress. Would you recommend other people coming? Yes. Yeah. Um, learn a lot, and mostly from the other people that are here. Even if you don't love chickens like we do, it's a fun day out. Definitely fun. And, Definitely and a lot to see. And deafening.
Yes. Oh my gosh, those geese were so loud. And the turkeys. So, and the turkeys. All right, hope you enjoyed our short review and we will see you soon on the homestead. Bye, Bye everyone. Everybody.